What's up, guys, and welcome to my next commentary. Um, this is Arrow Ender or Jeremy, and let's uh, let's kick this off. I wanted to. I was surfing the web yesterday, and I came across uh, some Black Ops site that I used to go to when the game before the game came out. You know, for the information and everything. I wanted to know about the game uh, before it dropped, so I could uh, have as much of an advantage as I could. And I went back there, and they had a new article, and it said. Black Ops has earned six hundred and fifty million dollars, like within the first week or something, and that got me thinking: just how much money, just how much money, Activision has made off the Call of Duty franchise, and the thought of it made me think of just how many more Call of Duties that Call of Duties there are going to be. This is not going to be the last one. This is not going to be anywhere near the last one. So. It, that really had nothing to do with the uh, gameplay or anything. I just wanted to say that because I just that never really occurred to me. But this is a this is a team deathmatch. I'm still using my FAMAS. I'm gonna start posting videos without the FAMAS if y'all are getting tired of it. Um, I can't because I can't play during the week because I'm grounded currently. You know I'm 16, and um, so that is why it's only been FAMAS so far. Those uh, free for alls. I've been trying to put the free for alls in between so I can have at least some variety. I'm gonna be starting posting up some commando videos, some uh, some submachine guns. It, it, it's not gonna be Famas next time. Um, I'm putting together my next Red Dead video, and um, let's go back. Let's get back to the gameplay. This is um, on WMD. I've already explained my class setup for this particular class setup in an earlier video, and, but I wanted to make true on my last video and go over some history in Block Ops. This map is named WMD, which stands for Weapons of Mass Destruction. And according to the Wikipedia page that I looked up right before I started this, a w Weapon of Mass Destruction is a weapon that can kill and bring significant harm to a large number of humans and other life forms and or cause great damage to man-made structures. Well, um, that includes nuclear bombs, radiological, biological, and chemical. But, you know, if you think of a WMD, you probably think of a nuke. Now, um... And what it has to do with the the Cold War, which is what Black Ops is set in. After World War II, you had the rise of two superpowers, really, in the world. You had Russia and you had America. And there really aren't any superpowers anymore because um, you know everyone's got everyone's gotten to the point where we all are pretty much on equal field in terms of power, and um, there isn't one single superpower anymore. And, you know, I think, but. Some people might have different opinions. I don't really care. And WMD, for the longest time in the Cold War, was kind of a threat. The Russia had nukes and America had nukes. And each the reason we didn't get in a huge war with Russia was uh well there were a lot of reasons. Like the simplest reason was uh something called MAD, mutually assured destruction. If one side decided to attack the other, then they would retaliate. And, you know, the, the weapon of the day was nukes. We don't use nukes now because we, I think, I th want to say we signed a treaty to not use nukes or there is some sort of treaty or something, but it's kind of the same thing. We don't, no one uses nuclear weapons because someone else will use them. And um, this kind of has to do with, I'm, I'm saying this because I, I wanted to bring in the context for all these things. So WMD, I don't remember what it has to do with uh, the single player, but I would assume it has something, some connotation to a nuke, because that was the thing in in uh, the Cold War. Like I'm in history class right now, I'm going over the Cold War in the 1950s, 1960s, and how that all went over. And mutually assured destruction is pretty, it's a pretty interesting subject because you see just how close we came to World War III. If one side had even misinterpreted the other side as having shot off a, a weapon at them, then the world could have been destroyed in 15 minutes. I think actually right now we can still destroy the world in 15 minutes. Uh, it's like eight countries. I watched this documentary on Netflix. Uh, like eight countries currently have uh, nuclear weapons. It's like it's like America, Russia, uh, England, uh, Pakistan, India. Uh, North North Korea has less than 10. All the other countries they have like exact numbers for. They just had a less than sign for of 10 for North uh, North Korea, but. It's uh, just going over the whole Cold War era and thing is pretty interesting. 
but yeah, I didn't I didn't mention at all the gameplay here. If y'all want to hear more gameplay, y'all can. If you want me to talk more gameplay next time, leave it in the comments. I'm sorry if y'all came to learn tips. Go back to my last episode. They'll probably have something there. I don't I don't remember. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see more uh, stuff from me, come subscribe to my channel. I hope you give it a like. Have a nice day. Peace.